Hey guys, it's Tony with Backwoods Biker Magazine again. Ever since we launched the video concerning the strops and uh, how to strop a knife, I've gotten uh, several emails asking me uh, to be a little bit more detailed about, you know, larger knives. Uh, you know, what would I recommend? Hang tight, we're going to go over those strops again and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, a lot of questions come in about the strops that I was showing you by Wood Tramp Gear. Uh, they come in four different sizes. Uh, we've got the field size that is called uh, the Nesmuk. Uh, it's about six inches long by inch and a half wide, suede on one side, smooth top grain leather on the other side. Uh, oak wood is what we use, just, it's just sturdier, it's dense. Uh, this guy retails for $13.99 on the website great for a field sharpener or excuse me for a field strop system it's very light small compact uh, the next size is the Kephart and again same type of leather suede top grain uh, oak everything's the same with that except it's just bigger as you can see uh, it's six by about three inches uh, you can fit this in your pack as well uh, but a lot of guys use these on their bench um, and you know some do take them out to the field especially when it comes to axes and I'll show you that in a second next size up is the Crockett the Crockett is approximately 10 inches long same three inches everything's the same about these It's just the size that I'm showing you here and obviously you know this is something that you would have on your bench at home it will have some limitations as to what you can do uh, long machetes this doesn't work real well with you can but you just you know it's going to take you a little time and a little bit of effort you know because your machetes are going to be longer uh, this will do larger knives obviously and then we have the boon uh, and by the way um, the I told you that the Nesmuk was $13.99 the Kephart is $19.99 the Crockett is $24.99 and this guy here which is called the Boone and it is uh, right about 18 inches it's, it's almost uh, 21 inches including the handle uh, but your surface your usable surface is 18 inches by 3 inches it's, it's a hefty size um, this one happens to be made out of Spanish cedar uh, but we will not be uh, doing these in Spanish cedar because it's an unstable wood. Uh, this is, happens to be my personal that I, I keep around for mine because of that fact. I won't sell this. Um, it's just something I experimented with because I had it laying around when we were doing it. Um, and I realized right away, uh -uh, is isn't going to work. So oak will be again. Again, this is $49.99. Uh, same suede on one side. This happens to be loaded up with compound, obviously and you just simply oil the other side with your choice of, of uh, a fat that you want to use whether it's an animal fat or vegetable you know I don't really recommend the vegetable you know mineral oil uh, but what wor works really well is the bush butter that wood tramp uh, has to offer it does a great job and it gets deep penetration in there so with all that being said you know um, I, oh, I want to make mention of this you know uh, $49.99 might seem like a lot of money for something like this, but go on Amazon and look at uh, the larger strops. Um, most companies do not sell them this size. Uh, and the company that made these, this was called the Rudis. When you look on, I think it's R-U-D-I-S, uh, which happens to be the name of a, a Roman wooden uh, ceremonial sword that was given to gladiators that were given their freedom, uh, the emperor awarded him with that sword to show everybody that they were absolutely no longer a slave but uh, uh, that's what this is called is the Boone $49.99 on Amazon this size is going to cost you $99.99 so uh, I was asked you know about doing larger stuff you know uh, and I, I brought several different knives out uh, this one is the uh, MSK1 by Ultimate Survival Tips uh, yeah, it's, that's one of the larger ones. Another large one is this behemoth from Bremen Knives. This was uh, nominated for the 2019 Knife of the Year. 
Um, that is a that is a big knife. Okay, uh, and we do have an axe that I can show you. This happens to be a condor. This is their their campsite. This is a pretty neat neat little axe. You know, uh, it's brand new this year. And then we have the condor gullick, which is a handy dandy machete. I love this thing. All right, so this is why you have larger bench strops like this. All right, um, you know, uh, one of the emails that came in asked me, why can't I just keep honing the knife? Well, you, you can, but every time you run a hone across the blade, you are removing steel uh, and you are uh, just taking away from what you have there. You want to keep your resources right, you know. So you don't want to always hone your knife because 90% of the time, uh, anybody that knows what they're talking about will tell you that stropping a knife can bring it back to razor sharp uh, uh, and a razor sharp edge unless it's been damaged. You know, and then you're going to have to get some homework going on here. But you know, just just let me show you how how this is. First of all, let's let's let me show you why you don't want to use, let's say, um, a, a strop like this this size or. Actually, you know, I, I can I, I do recommend this being used out in the field, and you can do different things with this. But uh, my my first go-to for uh, a larger knife would be uh, something this size, this size, or obviously this size. Uh, but when you're out in the field and you have an axe like this, uh, you're not going to want to take this. You know, this can work, and it doesn't have any compound on it. But the way that you strop. A, a axe is to keep the handle away from you and just run that strop across there like that flip it over after you're done from that side you do the suede side first with the compound and then you flip it over and you do it exactly like that count your strokes with the suede side and then you do the same amount with your top grain side, the smooth side, all right? And that is perfect for that. You know, you can do the same thing with knives, even big knives with these, uh, but you're you're going to have to really pay attention to what you're doing here, okay? Just do it the same degree that you have sharpened your knife with. Always lead with the spine when you're stropping, right? And you flip it over and you do it again same angle and you just let the weight of the knife right along that so I mean you can use these for that all right for these bigger knives too so let's talk about using the boom why do I have a strop this size well it's because of, of blades like this that I'm really wanting to work on before I take them out in the bush I'll, I'll get them right with a file, with a stone, and then when I want to finish them off, this has already been, uh, I had this out, and when I come back, I take care of my blades to get it ready for the next time so I don't have to worry about it. This has already been filed down, and it also has had a stone on it, uh, and it, it's pretty sharp, but this is what I do with this here. This is why we have these larger ones here. You don't have to hold it up, but again, you let the weight of the blade do its thing, pull it with the spine towards you and just bring it on down, stay that way. Right there, you can see that, how easy that makes that when you're doing it like that. That's two, there's three. And I'm not pressing at all, man. All I'm doing is taking this thing out for a walk. I'm helping guide it, that's all I'm doing. It's like when I take Tater out on the leash, you know. Tater thinks he's in control, but he's not. This blade thinks it's in control, but it's not. All right, and then you do the same exact thing back the other way. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down. Just let that, let the weight of the blade do its thing. Hold still there, bud. Just the weight of the blade, same angle. All right. Then I'm going to flip it over, wipe it off first. All right. Just 
to do the same thing. Nice and smooth. Just let the weight of the blade take care of itself. Right, there you go. Look at that. That's why you have these big strops. I was asked if a razor strop will work. The answer is yes, it, it will. You know, it's, but the, the thing with the razor strop is you've got to put a lot of tension on it. Uh, remember, it wasn't made for a knife. It was made for a straight razor that's very light. So you've got to put a lot of tension on it to keep it nice and straight. Otherwise, you risk rolling the edge on it. Okay? Yes, you can use that, but you've got to be super careful. With something like this that's on a rigid background, it's not ever going to bend. Always, always the edge is going to be true. It'll always be true for you. Okay? So, there you go for that. And then if you're doing a knife, a knife is the same thing. You know, if it's long enough to do that, you know that it's going to be long enough to do this knife. Again, this is the Grayman Darfur Defender. Mike Grayman makes tactical style knives that can also be used in the bush. I really like uh, Mike's knives. They do a great job. And, and you can feel this thing, man. Once you get used to using your strop, it's got a sound to it. All of them have a unique sound. They talk to you. They'll let you know what you're doing right or if you're doing it wrong, you know. And again, I mean, if you want to use this type of a strop on your, on your axe, you can. Or you can use the smaller ones. Yeah. Uh, small knives, yeah. Sure, this is a neck knife uh, from Ultimate Survival Tips. This is, uh, it's just, he just calls it his neck knife. But I mean, you do the same thing with this. Look at that. Little knives are real easy on these big surfaces. Right? <clears throat> Okay, real simple stuff, you know, strops are essential if you're going to want to keep your blades right um, and you want to save the resource of the steel that's in your knife, you don't always reach for a hone, you don't always reach for a stone, you know, a strop will do a lot to bring that back up to being shaved sharp, uh, nice knife, all right. Um, one of the other questions that I want to address was how, how come uh, wood tramp gear Strops are so cheap. Well, everything that we have, we sell very, very reasonable. Our motto is um, common gear for the common man at common prices. You know, this is just all common stuff, you know, and we want to keep them reasonable for everybody. Um, and uh, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, we make all these by hand, and we don't have a bunch of special tools to cut the leather. You know, so some of the leather is going to have a little bit of a ragged edge on it, maybe. It doesn't affect anything. You know, what's really important is that you've got a good base, you've got good leather on both sides, and you've loaded it properly on one side. And you can use any compound. Uh, you know, a lot of guys have bought in three or four of these and have loaded them up with different compounds. Uh, and uh, actually, had, we've had one customer bought three of the Boons, uh, and he's got them all loaded up with different compounds. Um, he has a knife sharpening service. Uh, and he's used other strops, and he thinks that ours is uh, the best he's ever had, you know. So we try to keep things cheap uh, for you, not cheaply made, but cheap in regards to price, uh, you know. So we don't invest, you know, in all the leather trimming tools, you know, that are made for that with the guides and all that. Man, we just, we cut them down, you know, by hand. And that's why you can get a, you know, these are about uh, $35 this size, just any website you look at, you know. But from us, the uh, uh, Crockett is $24.99. Again, here you have the Nest Muck, it's $13.99. Field Strop, another Field Strop or Bench Strop is this, the Kephart, which is um, $19.99. Crockett's $24.99. And this guy here, the Big Daddy is $49.99, uh, and they should last you a lifetime. 
you can always clean them up, uh, recharge them, and they're good to go. So that's it. You know, I hope that helped you out. You know, if you got big blades like a, a machete or big knives like this Grayman Darfur Defender or even the Ultimate Survival Tips MSK-1, they all do well on this and uh, axes, whatever you got, you know. So appreciate you watching. Hope it helped you out and answered your questions. Go out to woodtrampgear.com. If you want to see uh, if any of these are still available, it's Christmas time right now, so we've we've been selling out of a lot of stuff. So, uh, you know, send us an email if you're wanting to know any more information. Right down there is the email, Tony at backwoodsbiker.com. As a matter of fact. Mm -hmm.